The Ministry of Defense has declared 2025 as the year of reforms that would aim at transforming the armed forces into a technologically advanced combat-ready force capable of multi-domain integrated operations. India has issued an OTAM warning for a range of 370 kilometers from Andaman and Nicobar, that is likely to be the test of Brahmo's supersonic cruise missile. The DRDO is gearing up to conduct the first flight test of its Archer and Gmail UAV very soon. Lucknow-based Aeroloy Technologies has become India's first private company to commission a vacuum mark remelting furnace for producing aerospace-grade titanium alloy ingots. On 15 January, Indian Navy will commission INS Nilgiri Stealth Frigate, INS Shurat Stealth Destroyer, and sixth and final submarine of Scorpion-class submarines. The DRDO is gearing up to conduct trials of the 12 km range UAV launched precision guided missile version 3, that will feature anti-tank warhead with kinetic capability, and infrared seeker for accurate target acquisition. After ending partnership with Adani Group, Swedish firm Saab is currently navigating a challenging situation, and is looking for new partnerships to fulfill its ambitions of manufacturing the Gripen locally. Hyderabad-based Navstar Integrated Systems Private Limited has announced the successful development of a series of advanced multifunction antenna systems specifically designed for submarines. Defence analysts have advocated the Indian Air Force to explore the possibilities of scaling up the design of the 13-ton Ghatak Autonomous Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle into a 50-ton manned stealth bomber, that will enable India to leapfrog into the domain of strategic bombers. It could have a quad jet configuration powered by four 130 kN engines, that would provide the necessary thrust for a 50-ton aircraft ensuring both speed and range essential for long-range strategic missions. Latest reports indicate that India might decline to join any foreign sixth-generation fighter program at this stage, and the DRDO and the Indian Air Force have reiterated their focus on the AMCA program, as it will integrate some technologies associated with sixth-generation platforms like artificial intelligence and directed energy weapons, and AMCA's success will also lay the groundwork for future sixth-generation fighter program. Officials have said, that the price escalation in the 99F414 engine deal comes as part of the negotiations for the 80% technology transfer involved in manufacturing these engines domestically. While the transfer of technology price might increase, the cost for each engine produced locally is expected to hover around $10 million, and this estimation aligns with the baseline cost of F414 engines observed in the Korean deal for the KF-21 program, which also uses the same engine. The gas turbine research establishment has put forward a proposal to establish a state-of-the-art high-altitude test facility at a cost of 1,600 crore rupees, that will simulate conditions at altitudes above 40,000 feet. Despite the clear strategic advantages of such a facility, the Ministry of Defense has yet to approve the funding for this crucial project, that has sparked discussions and frustration within the defense community regarding government's commitment to self-reliance in aerospace technology. Today's Top 3 Comments